Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling. In this session of the video, we're actually going to talk about the hip bones. Alright, the left and your right hip bone, which are innominate bones, pelvic bones, are these two big structures, are two irregularly shaped bones that form part of the pelvic girdle. The bony structure that attaches the exile skeleton to your lower limbs. So the hip bones have actually three main articulations. Posteriorly, it has this at this point the sacroiliac joint right over here. Sacroiliac joint in front, we have got the symphysis pubic or pubic symphysis, and on the other side, right over here, we got the hip joint, which articulate with the head of the femur. All right, now let's talk about the hip bone. So remember, the, when talking about the hip bone, the hip bone is actually comprised of three parts. Let me let me let me show it here for you. Let me remove the other structures. All right, as I told you, the hip bone is actually has three parts. Let me remove the other parts. Let me multi selection. Okay, we got this. We got this. Okay and hide others right so you can see I'm sorry you can see right here that this is the hip bone is comprised of three parts that is the ilium this big structure the uh, biggest structure this is your ilium this is your pubis right over here the pubis that's why they were in between these pubis the pubic symphysis form and lower down you have got the ischium so the hip bone is comprised of three bones, that is the pubis, ischium, and ilium, together, joined together. Prior to puberty, you know, before puberty, there is a tri-radiate cartilage that separates these parts. And fusion only begins at the age of 15 to 17. During age of 15 to 17, these two, three bones to articulate at this joint, that is the, uh, in, at the acetabulum. Together, the ilium and ischium form a cup-shaped socket known as acetabulum. The head of the femur articulates with the acetabulum to form the hip joint right over here. Right. Let's further talk about the ilium. Now, let's go and talk about this structure, this big fan-shaped structure which is called the ilium. So, this is our ilium, right? This big structure, this is the highlighted in green. So, the ilium is actually the widest and largest part of or the largest of three parts of the hip bone and it's located superiorly you can see and the body of the ilium forms the superior part of the acetabulum superior part of the you can see on the posterior side superior part of the acetabulum which is the acetabular roof immediately above the acetabulum the ilium expands to form a wing or ella you can see right over here it's from a big wing or ella on the posterior side and superior side the wing of the ilium has two surfaces, the inner surface, which you can see right over here, this is inner surface, and this is the, po uh, uh, the posterior surface, or the external surface. The inner surface is actually a concave shape, which produces the iliac fossa, which is the site, of, site for the origin of the iliacus muscle, and the external surface, which is right over here on the back side, which is the gluteal surface, and it has a convex shape, and provides attachment to gluteal muscles. As we further talk, that the, and we further talk about the this uh, bone, which is this uh, the ilium, we know that the superior margin of the wing is thickened to form the iliac crest. This is the iliac crest. Let me draw it with the pen. This is your iliac crest. It extends from the anterior superior iliac spine to the to the on the other side to the posterior superior iliac spine right and now let's talk about the f f other structure on the posterior aspect of the ilium there's an indicate there is an in uh, I indentation known as the greater sciatic notch right over here you can see there on the posterior surface this there is a notch being formed this is your biggest notch on the posterior surface this is called your greater sciatic notch right over here now let's talk and move further on and now let's talk about the pubis right right so this is the pubis down here if I move the diagram further on you can see the pubis this is the pubis right over here 
So the pubis is the most anterior portion of your hip bone. It consists, it consists of your body, your superior ramus and your inferior ramus. This is your body, this is your superior ramus, this is your inferior ramus. So the pubic body, uh, let, me, let me show you the parts if we go right there, right, right over here. So this the pubis body, let me go back. This is the pubis, the pubis body or the pubic body located medially. It articulates with the opposite hip bone. This is your pubic body. It it articulates with the opposite pubic body. Let me show it in another video. Alright. You can see right here it articulates this pubic body, articulates with the other pubic body at the pubic symphysis. Its superior aspect is marked by a round thickening, the pubic crest. This is your pubic crest, this is big thickening right over here. This is the pubic crest over here. And this is the thickening of your pubic body, which extends laterally as the pubic tubercle. Right, goes down there and laterally and becomes your pubic tubercle. The superior pubic ramus extends laterally from the body to form the part of the acetabulum. Light goes out right there. And the inferior pubic ramus, this is your inferior pubic ramus. This is your inferior, let me draw it, eye. Projects downward towards the ischium. And together the superior and inferior rima enclose part of the obturator foramen. This is your obturator foramen. They kind of close up and make the obturator foramen through which the obturator nerve artery vents pass through and reach your lower limbs. Now let's talk about the last bone that is of the hip joint or the hip bone which is your ischium. Alright, ischium. Whatever you call it, whatever you like. This is called the ischium. This is your ischium. So remember the ischium actually forms the posterior inferior part. You can see right over it forms the posterior inferior part of the hip bone. Much like the pubis, it is composed of your body and inferior ramus and the superior ramus. So the inferior ischial ramus combines with the inferior pubic right over here. Pubic ramus forming the ischio, uh, the ischio pubic ramus right over here which encloses the part of the obturator foramen that is right over here. So the posterior inferior aspect of the ischium forms the ischial tuberosity and when sitting it is these tuberosities on which our body weight actually falls. So near the junction of the superior ramus and the body of the posterior region is the bone, the ischial spine right over on the back side we have got the ischial spine. Two important ligaments attached to the ischium. Remember, there are two important ligaments that are actually attached to the ischium. As we go back to the diagram and we see it clearly, we have the two main uh, ligaments that is the sacrospinous ligament and the sacrotuberous ligament, which we have talked already in the structure. Let me show it in this diagram. Okay, let me show them here. The posterior side, you can see right over there, we got the ligament. That ligament is called the sacrospinous ligament. That is the sacrospinous ligament. If we add up another connective tissue, we get this. Again, another ligament, this big structure posterior to the sacrospinous ligament. This is called the sacrotuberous ligament right over there. If I tilt the picture, you can see it on the posterior side, on the gluteal side. This is your sacrotuberous ligament. And that's it regarding these three uh, three bones, uh, the uh, ilium, ischium, and pubis of the hip bone. And please make sure to visit our uh, website is www.tigeschooling.com and keep visiting Tigeschooling. Thank you.